Good boy! They should take a bow. You will use the trick in your hand a bit as a lure. And you're gonna place the dog in position, and as soon as he's, he's in the position you want, we'll release the tree. You want the elbow touching the ground, but not the dog laying down. So I start standing up. And Use a cue word, I'm gonna say enchanté because I speak French and all my other dogs use enchanté as the cue word instead of bow. So you're gonna say enchanté and press. If the dog lays down, you don't reward that so it doesn't learn to lay down again. Enchanté. Good. You have to be very fast because you end up laying down. So you need to mark it when it's only the front leg touching the ground and yes good man as soon as the elbows touch the ground you release a treat Enchanté. no laying down so I, I want to re reward that Enchanté. Oh. Enchanté. Enchanté. one thing and oh that was a good one baby Enchanté. come uh, one thing I really like to do when I have wiggle bones like that, I use uh, my my leg as a bridge. So the dog, oh, <laughs> when the dog does this, it's a problem though. And like this, yes, you see the elbows are on the ground, so you get what you want, and then you can go further back from the leg. Enchanté. Just a bit here. Yeah, good. Enchanté. Good, enchanté. Since he's there, I'm going to use, take advantage of that and reward all again. Yay, good boy. Yes, enchanté. Good. Good boy. Enchanté. Good. Up. Debout. Debout. Enchanté. Debout. Debout. Good. Yes, good man. So now we have to fade the leg. This is going to be here, but I'm going to stay. Yes, good man. Debout. Debout. Stack. Enchanté. Yes. Try again. Enchanté. Yes, that's what we want. So I do a rapid fire treating so he knows that that's exactly the position I want. Yes, good. Enchanté. Good. Good man. Yes. Enchanté. Yeah, that's your style, buddy. So when you get the idea of having the elbows on the ground, and the butt up. You want to increase the duration. So you will wait a bit more to release the tree. Enchanté. Up, up, debout. Good, enchanté. Good. Good, enchanté. Good, man. That's a good man. 
So you start with the treat very low and as soon as the dog raises a paw to get it, you will release the treat to mark it. And you can ask to get it or shake. Okay. Yes. Then you get the treat higher, shake, yes, good girl, shake, yes, shake, yes, try to work with one leg first, now that she showed me the dominant side, it's this one, shake, yes, to wave and she uses the other side so it's another, another good exercise to make her learn something totally new. Yes, good. Shake. Shake. Yes, good girly. Shake. Yes. Now I'm going to do it without the treat and give the treat afterwards. Shake. Shake. Yes. First need the dog to lay down, push, and you use the treat as a lure to a shoulder blade. So you first get into his side. When it's salty, it turns up on his back, but you release the treat. Down. And you can help it just a bit. Yeah, good boy. That's a good boy. Push, push. Use the tree. And yeah, go in. Now he goes on the side. You need to. You want him on his back. Cush. And you lure all the way to the back. Good man. Yes, that's an easy one, right? Cush. And you lure. Cush. And you can help him. Yay, go in. So all you have to do after he gets it is to complete the, the, ro the rolling. So push, tree is there, and oh, 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 the tree, push. Yes, good man. Push. Yay, good boy. And after you fade the lure and your end signal becomes faster, yay, good man. All right, time for some soccer training. So what we will do, any interest the dog will present in the ball, I'm going to click and treat. So don't blink, it's going to go very fast. Squat loves clicker training. So, but you will see everything it gives me, I'm going to click. And the thing is, after a while, I'm going to try to up the end and ask for a better precision, longer rolls and a very clear push with the nose. So let's start. Going to get ready with treats. And my clicker in the other end. And we go. He's touching with the, the paw. I would love him to, to quit using the paw. So since he knows a lot of clicker training, I'm going to avoid rewarding that. What I can do to stop that, yes, he touched with his nose. What I can do to, to stop that, I see, I'm going to put a treat under it, so when he uses the nose to, to get the treat, I'm going to click, I see, pet, so he knows it's the nose I wanted to use, I see. Still the 
Yes, you see the butt is not clicked, but the nose does. Good man. I'm gonna try to have a little bigger of a push. Yes, good man. Good. Yes. Try to work our way up to a push. Yes. I'm gonna try. To, yes. I want him to think and offer me something, and I'm gonna click if it's what I want. Yes, good man. Good man. Strike up for a push. Yeah, good boy. Good. Good, man. I'm breaking the ball, but you see that he's doing the correct thing, so you would click that. Yes. Good. That's a good one. Try to fine tune our way up to a real push. So the ball, yes. Good, man. Good. Score it, baby. Yay, go boy! He doesn't know what he did, but let's give him a big reward for that because he just scored a goal. Yes. Yes. Good, man. Good boy. Put him in. Yeah. Score it, score it. Yay, go man! 